previously. You're scaring me, bro. <laughs> I'm like actually terrified right now. On Progression Series Season 2. Bro, I hope this works. I'm gonna activate Snatch Steel on, <laughs> on the Cyber Twin I Dragon. I'm actually kind of relieved that you're not going to the banning because I feel like Stein would not have survived the banning if that were the case. He would not have. He would not have. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't see Harpy's Feather Duster in the next episode either, man. In this series, both Nim Nim and myself will be opening 24 booster packs or one box of a core Yu-Gi-Oh! booster set. We will build a deck and play a best two out of three, and the winner will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. However, in each episode, we will open another box of the next set that was released moving in chronological order, constantly upgrading our decks before dueling each other at the end of each episode. But this time around, Round, we'll be introducing side sets, a new banning system, and plenty of other fun surprises that you'll just have to watch to find out. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series Season 2. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code CMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. A well-fought episode last week, but we managed to come out on top. Alex and I are neck and neck. It truly is anybody's game these last few episodes. Pushing on to the end of the GX era, I'm really excited to see who can take the lead moving into 5Ds, but we still have some haymaker sets to get through. But me, I've got a big wheel today. Always looking for the higher end stuff, you know, the top end. I would love to seal a promo, one of the new slices on the wheel here. Would love to pick up something from there. Alex already has gotten the luxury of grabbing a Harpy's Feather Duster. Absolutely game-changing. Have you to see it activated on me yet, but uh, I'm hoping to get something nice there. Disc Commander, Light and Darkness Dragon, just a couple cards to name uh, a few. Been really lucky with my last two wheel spins. I cannot complain with anything at all that I get. I'm giving it a couple rapid clicks here. Let me see what I can grab. I've already expended all my redoer tickets too, so if I can get a refund on one of those, it won't be the worst thing, but the better thing is, is a lovely, lovely ban ticket. Been a minute since we've been in the banning there, huh? Neither of us has been on a three loss streak, so it'll be nice to revisit there next episode. I gotta pick something to remove from Alex's collection. It's gonna be a tough one. We'll let him know what that is when we get there. But first, we got Dark Revelation for today. I'm gonna let Alex tell you all about it. I can't believe I had the Desperation Cyberstein to out a BLS. I can add that to my list of things I never thought I would do in Yu-Gi-Oh! And we are in the loser's circle for it. Shocker, right? But it is what it is. Uh, Dark Revelation 4, an interesting reprint set consisting of cards from Cybernetic Revolution, Enemy of Justice, Shadow of Infinity, and Elemental Energy. And I know I just did those completely out of order, but for some reason I was thinking of Enemy of Justice before Elemental Energy. They both start with E, so that's good enough for me. So DR4, looking at our ultra rare reprints here, some of these are like okay, but we already have most of them. Like, I think the Dark Worlds would be interesting if they were lower rarity, because I think they're higher rarity in this than they would be otherwise. I think we already have Cyber Phoenix unlocked. Not happy that Gage gets a shot at Avarice. I think that's the thing I'm the most concerned with. The rares, there's a lot of them. And let's be honest, most of them are pretty terrible when you're looking at it. I'm not sure if System Down is already unlocked for us in case of any machine-oriented strategies, but that's something to look out for at the very least. Doom is another big one, potentially, if Demise is still on the table, because Demise is in the set as well. Chainsaw Insect, potentially, for like a skill drain OTK style of deck. And uh, that's pretty much it. Doesn't really look like there's too much else for us to get there. The super rares, there's actually quite a bit, but again, I think we already have most of them because most of these cards already came at common. Demise, however, is something we want to look out for. And then once we get down here into the secret rares, these are actually cards that did not debut in any of those sets. And these are reprints from other sets. I think Satellite Cannon may have a debut in this, but I don't remember for sure. In any case, Exarian Universe and DD Assailant are probably the two most playable out of the bunch. DD Assailant's like another DD Warrior lead. And Exarian Universe is just a well-statted body. It may be past the point where these cards are like at their peak, but they're still definitely playable for sure. I'm not even going to bother with the commons because they're really not that worth it, but I think we have most of, if not all of these at this point. So let's go ahead and open our three packs of Champion Pack 4. Excited to see what we can pull out of here. I think this is our first copy of Soul Exchange, actually. Not really relevant because we don't have a ton of good tribute monsters, but it's something to have in the pool for later on. Second pack contains uh, another Robin Goblin. I think that's our second ultimate offering. I think it's limited or banned at this point, though, anyway. So we can only play the one, but that's, I guess, an interesting pull. I really should think about ultimate offering as an option. And the last pack, second DD Survivor, I think 
think that's pretty good considering we have the macro strategy. Mother Grizzly, I think we have a playset of. So let's go ahead and crack open 24 packs of DR4. 24 packs of Dark Revelation 4. Not the easiest pack to get your hands on. A lot of these rares from this set is also super expensive. You'll see in a minute. 24 packs of it. Let me see what I get from the reprint set. You gotta be a little bit more careful looking through here. Make sure I don't miss anything crazy. Forced back is our first rare that we grabbed from the set. Other than that, nothing else crazy. More rares with Cyber Laser Dragon. I never needed another copy of this boy here. First super rare comes in hot with a Miracle Fusion. I think we have three Miracle Fusion from the Duelist Pack set. I don't want to be completely sure. So this might be a good pull. $55 tells me it's, it's all right. But I actually don't know how useful it's going to be. I have a feeling we already have a couple Miracle Fusions in the bank. Let's give it a look, actually. All right, going to look up a Miracle Fusion. Let's see how many of these we have. Yeah, I've already got a full set of it. So that is something I just did not need. Disappointing already, bro. But literally nothing good so far. Ah, it doesn't matter anything. That card's so easy to get. Literally nothing good yet, bro. Literally nothing to note. Oh, another super rare. I almost passed it up. I'm not going to even lie to you guys. I, I was looking. I was so focused and I did not see anything good. Gore you. It's not good. It's not really. It's really not good. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, wait. That's a really good one, dude. Pot of Avarice and Ultra Rare from Dark Revelation 4. Alex already has a couple copies of this. Pretty sure he took a wheel spin to take another copy. I'm pretty sure he has more than one. So I'm happy to get my first Pot of Avarice in here. Actually, something I think we can look to play. Really powerful card in these early eras here, as long as DD Crow isn't flying around, you know, stopping it from resolving. All right, let's crack some DR4. I'd love to see a DD Assailant. That would be like the best case scenario. Funny enough, there's an Ultra Rare Silva. I was talking about the Dark World, so I guess that's slightly more on the table than it was before, but I still do not think it is. Well, it's a super rare, and I usually talk about all the hollows. We have a place at a Macro Cosmos, but now we have the really expensive one, so that's fun. Well, folks, if we needed another copy of Pot of Avarice, we now have one in the collection. I'm pretty sure it's limited, and even then, I don't think I'd play more copies of it anyway. Later down the road, though, when we get to, like, sets far off into the future, playing multiple Avarice could definitely be on the table. We're about halfway through, and there hasn't really been much to talk about aside from the few hollows that I've pulled, just because there hasn't really been anything interesting. I mean, this is just a summation of all of the terrible GX sets in one, and I guess it's slightly better, potentially, but uh, that's still a stretch. Back to back hollow with this ancient gear castle, not really anything to write home about, but it is a super rare nonetheless. Whoa, Neo Bubble Man, bro, look at him. This is a pack of all commons. Is that even possible? <laughs> Don't I get a rare or anything at least? Oh, I almost passed it up again. Very expensive, super rare Icarus attack from this episode. This is the highest rarity of Icarus attack you're able to get. Expensive for a reason. Lovely during that Blackwing era. Not quite the card I want to be looking for. Well, who knows? It might be good in a little bit here once we do get the Black Wings. Raging Battle, right around the corner. Pretty cool card to pick up. It could be worse, I guess. Oh, another stinker with the pot of hours. Two of them now. Pretty sure the card's at one at the moment, so we can't really take full advantage of it being at two in our collection. But two DRO, four Ultras, man. I would be living large if this was real life. Beautiful pickup there. I'm happy with that one. Oh, oh, and a Karma Cut too, man. Be ooh, that's really good, actually. Pretty sure that's our second Karma Cut. We did retroactively in the Shadow of Infinity episode. I pulled an Ultra Rare Wild Card. I was able to go back and take a Karma Cut instead of the one of the gods because the gods are literally worthless. So I think this might be my second or third copy of Karma Cut, which is a really big pickup, actually. This DRO4 opening has been extremely good to me, actually. Really? Another copy of fucking Avarice? I do not need three, I think four, three copies of Avarice? I have at least a play set now. That's just insane. You know, usually the fun of the reprint sets is that the cards are actually easier to get because they downgrade the rarity, but most of the cards I think we're after are upgraded rarities, and so unfortunately, that... You've got to be fucking shitting me! That's a fourth fucking Avarice! <laughs> I give up. And that's like our first super rare in the monster slot, I think. Maybe we got one earlier and I'm just not remembering because this has not been a remarkable opening aside from the five avarices we've pulled. Uh, Majestic Mech, go to you. Sadly, I really wish this was Oka because Oka is actually a good card. Another ultra rare, Voltanus the Adjudicator. I'm pretty sure this guy works with counter traps. Fortunately, not enough good ones to be able to work with. Our three solemn judgments are locked behind the ban hammer at the moment. Not anything we could look at playing. Oja Magic card's super expensive for no damn reason. All right, coming up on the last few of DRO4, a Cyber Phoenix. Unfortunately, this was reprinted just a set or something ago that we all were able to max out our sets of not a big deal. And a Miraculous Descent as well, not a really good super rare as well. I guess it's lucky that I'm getting those hollows, huh? Nothing in that one. Let's see what we got in the last pack 
of Dark Revelation 4. Let me see. Nothing good. Okay. But regardless, double pot of Avarice plus the Karma Cut. A beautiful Karma Cut rarity, by the way. Um, I don't think it gets much better than this. Not like I have a choice anyways, since I'm out of redoer tickets. So I am going to end up taking these 24 packs of DR04, slapping it in the collection. Let's see what we can build. Only a few packs left of DR4. I swear to fucking God, if I get another copy of Avarice, I think I'm going to quit. Damage Condenser is actually a pretty decent card. I don't know if it's worth laying, but it's a pretty neat card at the very least. I think I pulled one of these in uh, Shadow of Infinity, actually, so that would give us two. I could play around with that, potentially. Second to last pack, I swear, I saw this, like, for a second, and I thought it was another Avarice, because that's where it's been every time. Nothing remarkable in that pack, though. Last pack, can we please get, like, DD Assailant? That would be a great way to close it out. Didn't seem like we did anything good. No. Uh, DDM Rising Energy. So, DR4, again, it's a GX reprint set. Not really much else I could expect. Didn't, didn't expect four Avarices, though, I'll be honest, so let's get to deck building. We've been getting a little bit comfortable with Chaos, especially with Blackluster Soldier in our card pool. No doubt he's one of the strongest cards in the game, but we definitely got to keep Alex on his toes by playing something a little bit different this week, and I decided to revisit a burn strategy that we had a while ago. This is the makings of Baboon Burn. Unfortunately, we don't have any Baboon of the Green Forest. It's a very particular time where I think Baboon of the Green Forest could activate during the damage step, which made the card really, really good when you pair it with a whole bunch of beasts just being able to come back, deal immense amounts of pressure on a 2800 body. People might not know what the card is. Let me show you. Green Baboon, Defender of the Swords. When I face a beast monster you control is destroyed and sent to the graveyard while it's in your hand or graveyard, you can pay a thousand and summon himself. This used to be able to activate during the damage step. So our cards like Nimble Mamongas, our cards like uh, the Gaku or Pandas, Rats, whenever these are destroyed, I would be able to cycle back a Baboon from the graveyard and summon it. Unfortunately, no Baboon. So a lot of these beasts aren't going to be able to do that uh, work. However, they're just good utility cards on their own. Mung is going to be able to gain us a thousand life points when it's sent to graveyard and going to be able to give us some food for our powerful monarchs that we'd like to summon. Stein has been a problem for Alex, so this is at least a card that has some kind of utility against it. Not to mention the Panda plus Trio combo, going to be able to burn Alex out of the game there. Lots of burn cards in the lineup here. Ring of Destruction still being one that comes up that is currently banned in the actual version of Yu-Gi-Oh! in this era, but we have it at one, so one of the best burn cards in the game. Don't mind if I do. We're playing Compulse as the removal trap of choice, not only because we're not playing with priority, so it is essentially just one for one free removal for a turn, but also we can use it aggressively being able to bounce back Alex's monsters if we want to make a big push or something. Alex with his most recent strategy, his most recent kind of like toolbox deck has been sitting behind a lot of dudes, so I'd like to spring it on him, maybe get a little bit aggressive and rustle and tussle with him. I feel like this lineup is pretty okay. The only thing we're missing is a lot of the top end. I really wish I had a Baboon to be able to work with. It would have been really killer at this time in Yu-Gi-Oh. Maybe someday we'll get that right sliver on the wheel, but <laughs> until then, we're going to be rocking with this. A little bit of a breather from Chaos. I don't think this list is bad in the slightest. Maybe it'll be able to catch us a free sneaky win. That's the dream. Hopefully, Alex doesn't see his one copy of Feather Duster. That would be a shame. All right, so we're probably past the point where this is going to work, but I feel like I want to try to embrace the spirit of Prague Series 2. We were gifted another copy of Silva, so let's try to play Dark World. This isn't obviously the Dark World most people might know because the structure deck isn't out, and honestly, we're never going to get it because we're playing Progression Series. But nonetheless, we have two copies of Silva and a gold at our disposal, so I figure, why the hell not? The one advantage of this actually is that Stein plus Cyber Twin is 6,300 points of damage, which means we still need 1,700 left. So, in the instance of having something like Dark World Lightning to take out one of Gage's sets, if we pitch Silva or Gold, this gets us over the threshold if we actually have Stein. So there is an advantage to trying this out, as a matter of fact. I wish I had more of these, because I think I would actually max out on it just to try that, but we'll have to see. The nice part about Dark World Lightning is that it also can destroy set monsters, and there are some things, such as recruiters and the like, that this can sort of bypass if we destroy. Conversely, there's also like Sangen, Witch, and the like, that when they go to the graveyard, they trigger, so it's probably like a 50 50. In any case, let's do the card by card. We're playing good old Dark Control, Cyberstein, OTK, plus Dark Worlds, I guess. So we have Card Trooper. Basically, we're just trying to get to Stein and just kill Gage as fast as possible. But if not, we just have a bunch of other good cards to supplement that. We have a Warrior Lady for removal, two Dekoichi to get us to Stein. We have Exile Force for removal, Gold and two Silva, just so we can have bigger bodies on the field. Jinzo is a fourth monarch, if you will. But uh, Jinzo is just fantastic because of being able to negate all the traps. Magical Scientist is back in here as well. There's plenty of toolboxing things we can do with this. And now that I've got the Sakus back in the deck as well. I feel more comfortable running this just because I have a way to protect the scientist. Morphing Jar is great with the Dark Worlds, but it also lets us refuel our hand. Tomato gets us to nearly everything in the deck. Night of Salem's like a fourth target for Dark World Lightning that we can pitch this, and that way we actually get some value back off of it. We do have some flips in the form of Morphing Jar and Dekoichi, so we can actually get some good value there. Sangen, the Snipe Hunter, the Spirit Reaper, and I'm also on the Treeborn Frog just because I am playing four tribute monsters, and the worst thing with Dark World is when you get stuck with these guys in hand with no way to get them into the graveyard, so Treeborn's a way to like buy 
bypass that. Plus, it's always a body that comes back every single turn, at the very least, to be able to protect me. That's it for the monsters. The spells, we have Brain Control, Comfy, Dark Hole, Double Dark World Lightning, Giant Trune, Graceful Charity, Harpy's Feather Duster, Last Will, MST, Pot of Avarice. We have four of them, but we can only play two. I think it's semi-limited, but I'm not going to play two of this card. Pot of Greed, Premature Burial, Rhoda, and Smashing Ground. And just a few traps, Ring, Double Saku, Torrential Tribute, and Trap Dust Shoot. I just have a bunch of good stuff in the side that may come up depending on whatever gauge is playing. I've got some Berserker Rills in case I need some more muscle because my deck does cap out at like 1500 attack for the non-tribute monsters. Another Exile Force for more removal, more Thestalosis if we need bigger tribute monsters that are just generally better monsters altogether. We have Book of Moon, Fisher for uh, some removal and controlling. We have Double Dust if we need even more back removal, but Gage hasn't been playing that much anyway. Double Mind Crush. This is a card I feel like we haven't like been trying out enough lately because Mind Crush back in old Yu-Gi-Oh was very good. There's a lot of things that you just know the identity of, and so I might try to side this in. Triple Pulling the Rug. Honestly, I should main this, but there are so many times where Pulling the Rug was like just completely dead because Gage didn't have a Monarch, but it's superior when Gage does, so it's like I'm kind of iffy about it. I want to see what he's on first. And then the third sack if we need even more removal in the Trap Department. So guys, can't wait to see what Gage is bringing to the table. If we can pull off the Dark World Stein thing, that would be sick, but I'm not getting my hopes up. So ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. Well, buddy, another reprint set has come and gone. Uh, this one, I mean, when you're reprinting GX cards, I don't really know what much there is to say. <laughs> DR04 is a little bit better, though. You remember what these uh, these packs came in, the little box sets? Yeah. That came in with the mm -hmm. four packs, and you got a Light and Darkness Dragon as the promo? Yeah. Jeez, insanely cool, bro. But yeah, these, these packs are really, really hard to come by now. If you notice, if you've ever looked at the prices, some of the rares are like $80 plus dollars, just for no reason. Yeah. It's the weirdest thing. But uh, I think DR04, I think it is a lot better than DR3. I will put it Oh, by way, far, <laughs> by far. Yeah, I mean, obviously, what's weird is like with the reprints, it's typically like we're excited for them because the cards we want are like easier to obtain, but DR4 is almost like the opposite. The cards we want are harder to obtain because they rarely bumped the good cards. Yeah, yeah, there's like no good commons or rares that we were able to soak no. up to like complete sets this time around. No, it, it really is the exact opposite of the rest of them. Right, right. That happens from time to time, but it is what it is. Uh, I Boy, I cannot wait to tell you about my pulls after after this, but uh, let's go ahead and play first Can't before we get hear into about that. Him. Let's see what we got. Shout out the patron. It is Karsten Davis. Thank you for the support. Let's see how we do here. Okay. All right, buddy. All right. Let's see. We're playing. All right. Oh, we got okay. a little battle going on. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Uh, All right. Successful, successful. Congratulations. Thanks, you beat man. the die. It worked really All right. hard. So, that. what are you going to do? Uh, <laughs> you know what? For these last few times, I was really happy you got the option to pick because it's still just as difficult <laughs> as episode one. Um, I am going to opt to go second, though. I still think the extra card in this era it's too good too good. the extra card is so strong all right buddy best of luck and i think you are going to heavily regret letting me go first because i'm gonna set a one a two a three uh, a four and i'll pass it to you this shouldn't i will draw for turn i will no oh, happy buddy <laughs> let's see gonna... the hand oh, he gets to see everything oh man okay this does not work in my favor get a look Buddy, buddy, what the fuck? Okay, you know, we joked off camera like, oh, because we have something to do after this. This this match won't take this long. And then I'm staring at this shit. Here we go. Oh, my fucking God. A couple of bird God. cards in there. They're all right. You know, what's your, oh, I can Jesus. tell there's one that doesn't sit kindly there. He's a nice There's a lot line. of them that don't sit kindly here. All right, so let me write all this crap down. All right, so Zaborg, Nemo, Bamanga, Ojama Trio, El Lab, uh, Panda, and Secret Barrel. Okay, well, obviously I can't go after your spells and traps because this is not confiscation. So it's between Gyakugire Panda, the Nimble, and Zaborg. What the fuck kind of deck are you playing <laughs> that you have Zaborg in with all this other shit? Okay. My man is on something for this one. You can get rid of the Zaborg. Honestly, that's not the choice I thought you would go with, but okay. So that, that concerns me a bit, I will say. All right, we'll go stand by main. Is that okay? All good, buddy. All right. So why would you get rid of Zaborg, huh? Panda Trio L Lad seems super strong, but you have to have an answer for it. Man, like I said, this really doesn't work in my favor because I can't do <laughs> anything to surprise you here. Like, you know, nope. everything that comes down, nope. everything that gets set up, it's like perfectly telegraphed. All right, I'm going to set one. I'm going to set two. Um, I'm going to set three. I'm not really scared of dying. I am going to keep L Lad up. I am just going to uh, pass the turn there, bud. Go ahead. Interesting. Okay, this is probably fine. I'll draw. Anything in standby. Nope, you're good. Okay, didn't think so. Main phase one. This is... 
Interesting. Okay, so you most likely set the Mamanga. Can you have the Girde in hand? Remind me, Mamanga has to be killed by battle, correct? It does. Yes, I know it's been a while. Okay. It's been a while, so I appreciate you letting me know. He All right, also, so here's... I don't know if it matters, but he has to be sent to the graveyard. So if you got DeFi's or macros, they are live. Fair. Uh, so we're going to flip to Koichi. Yep, okay. I'm going to chain Torrential to that. Powerful. I'm going to let it go. That's going to be fine. Okay. Okay. Sure. So chain resolves. Mabanga dies. I still get my draw. Uh, this is why. I see. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Okay. Yep. All right. Uh, I'll try to get him for three. <sighs> That's rough. All right. Cool. Let's see, I know you have no answer to this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. All right. All right. Now let's just hit the panda, please. Oh, my God. It's, it's all in your favor today. <laughs> oh, my God. Go ahead. Draw. Stand by main. Actually, I think I would have rather hit L Lab now that I think about I mean, it. But... I mean, I hope it doesn't matter, bro. I'm going to summon the Gaki Garaband. Oh, we got another one. Okay. Off all right. the top, you know, it just happens. Not bad. Not um, bad. Okay. I will go battle phase. Sure. I will declare an attack on Spear Reaper. Uh, we'll sack this. Damn. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I had it all planned out, buddy. That's so I had it rough. All planned you had out. literally everything for it. Yeah. All right. Yep. Panda down. Um, main two. Here comes the L lab. Yeah, I'll L add, and then I'll just pass. Yeah, that's kind of why I wish I would have just hit that instead. Uh, just because now it's more awkward for me because I don't have as many things I can do. Um, let me think. So secret barrel and trio, huh? Okay. Uh, I'll set one. I'll put Reaper sideways because you have no cards in hand, and I'll throw back. Okay, I'll just draw. Yeah, my main. I'll add a set and I'll pass. Go ahead. Okay, I'll draw. Uh, stand by main. Let's do it again. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay. Um, thinking actually on resolution too. I was gonna say I had a feeling Ojama Trio might be in my future yeah, this here. This is a really good trio here. This Dequichi's in defense too. No, it's not. I just flipped it. But it's oh, because yeah, Lab. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I will trio here. So I'll give you. Three. Okay. Chirp. Get my little dudes. Uh, I know you have yourself a secret barrel, so I just got to be mindful. That would be, what, 1,800 I'm taking off a of barrel? That's a bit. Not bad. I think I am just going to pass. I'm not really in much of a rush. Cool. I'll draw. Stand by main. Yep. I will just pass. Go. Okay. Uh, draw. Bad. Main one. I'm going to space the L lab. <clears throat> um... I think there's the most value I'm going to get off it. I am going to secret barrel. Okay, so I'm going to take 2,000 here because yep. I possess 10 cards. Yep. Sure, and anything else? No, that's it. I'll lose the L-Lab. Okay, sure. Uh, I'm going to put both of these forward. Okay. Uh, the tokens, I believe, have no attack. They do have 1,000 defense, which is kind of funny. Uh, I'll try to get with Reaper. Uh, I'll take it, and then you can pitch. Okay, I'll pitch the only target I have available. Ooh, reach for the support. <laughs> I know, I know right? Not quite good, right? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't do anything. It's pretty funny. Uh, second main, I will just pass it to you. Go ahead, my friend. Stay my main. It feels bad that I have to do this, but I do have to do a little bit of cleanup. I am just going to rip this dark hole off the top. Woo! Okay, so I'm going to take 900 from the tokens being destroyed, and everything goes. Yep, and then it's your move. Go ahead. Draw. Now we get to do this. Dark World Lightning Pitch Silva. What the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> that's insane. Yeah, that's uh, that's my ring. <laughs> oh, nice. No target, too. All right, cool. So Silva triggers. It comes out. Uh, I'm just going to swing at you for 23. Yeah, he's big. Okay, yep. Uh, I have not summoned, so I will set one, and I will set one. Now I'll throw it to you. All right, I'll draw. Stand my main. I will just pass. Go. Okay. It's pretty good. We'll draw. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it just keeps ah. getting better. Let's see that Stein, please. I'm at 51 exact. That would just be comedy. Uh, sadly, I did not get the Stein. I would have just slapped it down and just won immediately. Uh, let me see. I'm only at 37. You're not that far off. I am not that far off indeed. And indeed, I think I am just going to win this one out. So we're going to get rid of Dark World Lightning Exiled Force. Uh, I'm just going to comfy the last card in your yeah, hand. It's a Rise of the Storm Monarch. And Tomato plus Silva it's is exactly. game. Yep, all right, let's go to game two. Alex, I expected a quick game because I'm playing Burn, but <laughs> not in the way that panned out. I really 
didn't expect <laughs> to take that one really quickly. But you had everything, man. I'm just yeah. thinking you're playing like Silva. You're playing Dark World cards. And like I said, bro, Graceful Charity yep. in there too. Oh, I yep. got to be careful. Got to be careful, buddy. <laughs> got to be careful. I got to worry about Harpy's Feather Duster too, which doesn't make me too happy. I've yeah. yet to see it. I've yet to see it, but I know you have it. It's terrible. I was I was interested in the fact you went this route knowing I have Feather Duster. So <laughs> had, it's a one to, of. It's a one of. I had to peel off a of Chaos for a bit, and I was hoping this would work out. But so okay. far, it hasn't been too kind to me. I am going to take the extra card again. I'm going to opt to go second. Okay. It's You never think you'd pick second with a burn deck, no, right? It but, just doesn't uh, feel right. You got to do what you got to do, though, man. Okay? Good luck. Yeah. I agree. Uh, I don't need luck. I have pot of weed, so we're fine. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and set one, two, three, and throw it to you. Hit me with dust shoot again. Okay. God, <laughs> you, it's exhausting, One of, bro. by the way. One of, yeah, by the way. one of, by oh, the way. Oh, fuck. What is this hand? <laughs> this is fucking crazy. Oh, my God. Okay, so it doesn't even matter what I get rid of. You get to pot and snatch. Jesus. Okay, so pot of greed, snatch steel. Sangen, Dark Hole, Nimble, and Tomato. Holy crap, this hand's way better than your this other hand. This hand is solid. I like this one. <laughs> God. I hate... Okay, so you got what you wanted. I'm not going to know everything you have now, so I'm not going to be able to play around everything as much as I'd like to. You're going to Pot of Greed for two anyway, so, like, this decision may not even matter, potentially. I'll probably draw it again, so... It, it, you know, knowing... It, you, you drew Zaborg last game, so probably. <laughs> I think the send back is... Sangan. Okay. I understand. It's not a, not an easy choice. There's not a lot yeah, of Yeah, it's it, I don't really think it matters all that much, but whatever. All right, I'll give him a nice shuffle and I'll trade him for two more. How about that? All right, at least we both have it. Yeah, that's fine. Perfectly fair game amongst us here. Let's see, let's see how it pans out. Um I don't know. We just activated three banned cards back to back <laughs> to back. So I don't know about that. It, it all it all evens out. You don't have to bring it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, what have I seen so far from you? You're probably on your toolbox deck again. Set cards have I seen from you last game? Let me adjust. You didn't see much out of me last game. What'd you see? That's Reaper, Dekoichi, uh, the Dark Worlds, and that was kind of it. Yeah, really nothing out of the ordinary. Besides the, the, the Dark <laughs> I was about to say, what? <laughs> yeah, I mean, just the Dark Worlds. But I mean, I, th this is what I've seen from you like the last few episodes, though, is just these basic cards here. So see how it works out for us. I'll go Card Trooper. Okay, that's fine. Card Trooper is going to get Troopin'. Is that okay? Sure. All right, we're going to go for three. Okay, um, well, there goes the nimble Mamanga. Yes, uh, but that's a 1900 trooper, and he's going to get in there. Let's see if he uh, can conquer whatever that face down is. Quite large, I think. So I know the rest of your hand is nimble tomato, snatch dark hole, and there's one card I do not know. Interesting. You got it. It's Sangin. Okay, cool. You can get your search. That I will. And with it, I think I will grab myself... Which triggers no matter what. Uh, we'll grab a tomato. Okay. I will go main two. I'm gonna play with fire here. I'm gonna set a back row. I'm just gonna pass. Can't it's lose to Stein yet. I'm, I'm scared though. I'm scared of everything at this point. Brain control the trooper. Okay. Uh, yes, you may have trooper. I will sack for Jinzo. That's powerful. Yep. Okay. Twenty-four. Yep. That's fine. And uh, that is all I got. Go ahead draw stand by me sure okay now i'm curious why you made this play because you know i have snatch deal so like you can find out <laughs> <laughs> i'm like terrified like why 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 would you do that oh my god this might be crazy hold on give me a minute no it's not that crazy never mind so you have to have specifically space to take him back um i guess it, really it's just i am gonna snatch your jinzo sure <laughs> okay i'll summon which of the black forest okay okay and then i'll go battle phase sure 11 that's fine 24 yep Okay, so you're under Stein now. Um, I will go main phase two, and I guess I'll just pass. Go ahead. So sure. you can gain back a thousand for Jinza. I mean, that I will. You, you know. Yep. Thank you very much. We will go main one. I will run out Mystic Tomato. Okay. Yeah. Battle. I'm going to hit into uh, Jinzo. Sure. You can take a thousand. I will. We will trigger the tomato, and with it. I think I want to grab probably another tomato, actually. Yeah, so we're going to do that. Uh, and then this one will go over the witch. Okay, I'll take three and I'll witch. Okay. Okay, you're making me curious again, because I could be really greedy here and take a really good monster and, like, potentially win the game next turn. I'll pick up Ryza. Sure. Uh, second main, last will. That's strong. Yeah, that, that okay, that's good. Okay, so I'm going to grab Exiled Force. Okay. Let's take out Jinzo. Okay, yep. And that'll do it. Go ahead. Okay. 
It seems like you put a lot into that. Um, I will draw for turn. Stand my main. Sure. What other darks do you have in your deck? Like, probably Dark Mimic? I'm trying to think if you have a witch. I don't think you have a witch. <laughs> <laughs> that I do not. <laughs> not that from I season not. one, not from season two. Yep. I, I got to think what you could pull off this tomato then. Snipe Hunter. Might be a bit greedy, but I am going to do it. I am going to Dark Hole here. Sure. And then I am going to summon my own tomato. It's fine. And I'll try to get him for 14. We'll sack him. Thought so. Okay. Uh, main two. Set one. Go ahead. Ryza Mamanga is the rest of the hand. Huh. Okay. Main one. What are we going to do? Uh, we'll just go for another tomato. Okay. 14. Yep. And throw it to you. Okay. I'll draw. Stand by main. Mm -hmm. I will set one and I will pass. Go ahead. I'll be the Mamanga. I'll draw. So Mamanga can get you one more Mamanga because you're out otherwise. Could have also drawn something else entirely. I could just be wrong. But I would need to at least clear a second Mamanga for you to rise up. I think you only have one tomato, funny enough. Uh, you could have redrawn the Sangen. Could also have back row to protect. That's also a play. This is tricky. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna true nade. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I'm very worried. Yes, okay, so these go back. Yeah, and uh, I'm just going to normal decoy chain just try to clear this. Okay, yeah, it is Momonga, so I will okay. trigger Momonga. I'll get my 1,000. Yep, and I'll just kill off the other one. You can get the okay. other 1,000. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll gain the other 1,000 for it. Cool. That's all I got. All right, <sighs> draw. How to keep you off Ryza. Standby main. I will set a card, and then I'll set one, two, and I will set a third. Go ahead. Okay, we know Ryza's... <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh, it was a matter of time I'd see it too, bro. <laughs> no, oh go figure. Oh my god! True nade into Duster. What the fuck? I mean, what do you got? I got responses, but I'm, I'm I not bet you do. <laughs> I'm not happy about it, but I got responses. All right, I'm gonna go chain link two secret barrel. Okay, no response. Chain link three compulse, and I'll put target. Back your, I'll put back your tomato. Sure. Um, That's it. Yeah, that's it. All right. All right. There goes so all my back row and everything. I take 800 from the barrel and then tomatoes back in hand. Okay, cool. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. So I know rises in hand. Yeah, yes. fuck it. I'm going for it. All right, cool. It's Sangin again, so I will trigger the all Sangin. All right, sure. Sangin, I'm hoping. Ooh, those are both pretty good, actually. I'll pick up Spear Reaper. That's probably the best one it could have been. 14 to the dome. Yep, I'll take it. And I'll pass. Draw. Stand my main. Go. Okay, can we get the out to the Reaper battle? Yep, it's Reaper. 14. All right. Set the pulling the rug. I will fight you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Um, <laughs> one other one in hand. Didn't play anything else. Reaper is just your easiest way to get to Ryza. You could have drawn another Monarch, which had been very funny. Dark Hole's gone. I'm going to smash Reaper. Wow. Desperate times call for desperate measures. I don't think it's desperate. It's keeping you off Ryza. I'll draw standby main. Yep. I'll set one. I'll add another. Go ahead. Okay. I'll draw. I was honestly just debating if I wanted to smash Reaper or let you Ryza and then smash Ryza. Uh, I mean, I'll just keep doing what I've been doing. Okay. Um, I'll flip up Gravity Bind here. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'll set and I'll set. Go ahead. Thrilling. I will draw standby main. I'll just pass. Go. Draw. Useful. I gotta think. Okay. Pretty decent crack at it here. I'm gonna flip Morphing Jar. Wow. Oh shit, that's huge. Yeah, okay, Jar's fine. Okay, we'll discard and draw five. It was the Borg, I called it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, buddy. <laughs> This is just not <laughs> your day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, get a pick. All right. Fresh new five. Fresh five. Uh, this is comfy too, so this actually matters quite a bit. Okay, so trio, panda, roar, compulse, rat. You still have a set as well. Set monster, that is. I do need to be mindful of the fact I'm on 1,900 life points. That's a bit scary. <clears throat> Yaku Gire Panda it would be fucking gigantic. Roar is fine. It saves you a turn. Trio is annoying, but doesn't do anything on this board. Rat is also... I'm going to bin the panda. Okay. Respectable choice. <sighs> Let's win this game right fucking now, baby. Oh, God, no, bro. Please Target, no. Target gravity okay. bind. Okay. I will pitch pulling the rug. Okay. 
Easy as that, baby. Easy as that. We're going for the monster. Okay. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, Come on baby. Yes! Snipe Hunter! <laughs> Woo! Let's go, no! Oh, man. That's it. Oh, man. That's Holy so disappointing. Shit. Damn, good one, bro. That was a really God. good one. Oh, this that game was stacked, too. What was off the top? Oh, okay. yeah, that would have been a bigger one. Uh, funny enough, you mentioned the pulling the rug. I did have it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> Bro, okay, so it's a good thing I didn't make the play. I, last yeah. turn, I had a play where I was like, I had that tree born in the gravity bind. Yep. I'm like, I can yep. try to assert dominance by, you know, sacking over and getting a monarch like Ryza and yep. putting you back a turn. But then that leaves me vulnerable to anything if I don't set this gravity bind. Yeah. But um, it didn't matter anyways. You did have the pulling the rug. That was the one answer. <laughs> I was like, I can't deal with it. But, yeah. um, ooh, I was, man, I was like, if I could sit on this gravity bind until I can get to cards like Ring of Destruction, uh -huh. Secret uh -huh. Barrel this late in the game is deadly like all yep. these cards i was like are super live right now but i just yeah you had your own there too I just see that's why i them. had to get rid of the gyakugire because it would be too big for me to ring without killing myself because mm -hmm. it would have been 23 so uh giant rat i could still ring and uh if like for whatever reason if snipe missed i could have attacked gotten you down what would this be uh 28 plus 7 35 so then you would have uh if i rat if ringed your rat then i just won the game if you didn't uh set it or anything uh also i can uh pull Pulling the rug breaker because it has an effect that activates on summon, which is funny. Yeah. yeah, I didn't even think of that. Bad. Yeah, it gets its counter. Yeah, okay. It does get its counter. Yep, on summon. So, uh, so I'm happy I won this, not because I won, but because I redeemed myself. Because so you were wondering in the early game why I did the thing with Jinzo and let you yeah. snatch steal. Yeah, uh, it's because play. I'm a dummy and can't read. So I had the God combo to like just kill you immediately with Jinzo, Last Will, and uh, uh, Brain Sign. Control. Uh, I can just last will into Stein. The problem is last will the monster has to go to your graveyard. So I was like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna brain his card trooper, summon Jinzo, last will for Stein, I win the game. You can't do that because the monster has to go to your respective graveyard, not mm. any graveyard. So I had Sack in the back row. And so I was thinking to myself, oh yeah, I'll just let this go and then I'll do all that. If I sacked Card Trooper, uh, then I could have done that combo to kill you. So assuming uh, you didn't have Book, I don't know what that set was in the top right corner uh, or the uh, closest to your deck early on. But Jinzo, I think, would have uh, negated anything anyway because you didn't have Book. I think so. it was just like a like a secret barrel or something like that. Okay, like okay. Damage. It wasn't anything impactful, but it was just, it was a weird play at the time, I, I could tell. Yeah. And then, um, when I was able to take it, I mean, props to you for, I guess, the mind game indirectly. But, I like, just I had was to really confident at that point yeah, i just yeah. had to act confident <laughs> <laughs> that's what i do every episode man don't worry yeah. but, so uh, so what was so i see you were on like a little burn action but also playing the monarch so what was your thinking here yeah so this actually this list is very just eerily anti sty no 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 it's it's very eerily similar to a deck from 2007 uh baboon burn unfortunately like i was talking about baboon green baboon was so good at this time as a promo card because sure. it was actually a very short window where you could activate it during the damage step so you see cards like you Nibble pulled Malanga. baboon with your I fucking didn't. Man, no, oh, I didn't. Oh. Relax, bro. It's not in my deck. I didn't get that lucky. But the thing was is that I took from this makings of the deck the shell of it. I had okay. all the really decent burn cards behind it. And uh, the only tribute that he was playing was three Ryza. Uh, but I don't have three Ryza. I have one. So I just right. substituted it with uh, two other monarchs. You know, Zaborg and Mobius aren't too bad in their own right. Yeah. Um, but I was just trying to go for like the little burn strategy. I don't know if Baboon really would have even helped though. There's some cards that I don't have like Foolish Burial, which is also really important to get the Baboon to the graveyard and stuff like right. that. But I figured since I had the makings of a decent burn strategy, I'd give it a shot because it's just something different. So it would have mattered potentially. Uh, the only time, actually, let me take that back. The only time it would have mattered was when I hit your nimble Mamangas because if you had Baboon in hand, because Baboon could trigger in the hand yep. as well as in the yep. grave, uh, then you could have just slammed Baboon down. And honestly, I was probably fucked at that point because I don't know how. He's, he's 26. Big. He's 26. Oh, is he 26? Uh, what, yeah, what? but he's still bigger than like anything I have in my deck, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, Sand Cyber Twin, right? So yeah, that would have been a problem. I probably would have had to do some finagling to figure out how to actually get there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's that's the reason why that deck was so scary because I'm, I am I don't know at what point, like also Baboon triggered like in the damage step because there was a point where it did, uh, which was even more scary. And then eventually it got like, uh, I, I forget if the ruling got clarified or if it got errata that it didn't work in the damage step. It only worked when things got like dark hold or something. But I did, for instance, uh, I think I did something to your Nimble Momonga early on. You dark uh, it, I think, or something like that. Yeah, I, I might have done, I think, 
I might have done something like that. Yeah. Uh, so that would have triggered Baboon as well. And so, yeah, I mean, it's just a matter I, of uh, it, it, triggering Baboon doesn't seem that difficult in this deck here with like some of the beasts that are just okay. Like Yakugaira yeah. and Nimble Momonga, like you said, they're just okay cards. But like, um, getting to Baboon seems like the problem. Cards like Foolish yeah, yeah. Burial, we don't just have easy access to. Like, you, you got you only play one copy of Green Baboon. You just got to see it, I guess, like that. Yeah. Um, well, I think it was limited too. So I think you go. Oh, it might have been. Two. It, it might have been yeah. two. Yeah. Uh, three Nimbles, though. I think I haven't seen you play Nimble at all. So I, it's that's the nice thing just for you to have yeah uh, i, I guess well. the alternative would have been giant germ which i guess if i'm not playing you know baboon then i guess i should have played it too but also a thousand life points i was thinking is just it's a lot you know it gets me that's a that's a pretty <laughs> steep amount to protect from stein which yeah. is uh terrifying all the time where giant germ it can burn you but if i'm up against a stein i can still easily just die to it uh, in all fairness like insulated in all fairness i was making fun of this being a like anti-stein deck but in a lot of ways it is right because you mm -hmm. have the burn to get me below 5k faster and then you have nimble to get your life points up so you don't die immediately and plus you were like playing the threatening roars and such uh you've been on like stuff just to out uh stein like compulse and the like too so i mean in a way you do sort of have this anti-stein deck just because the card's so powerful but you know that required me to play correctly to actually have it summoned to the field but <laughs> so what, what was uh how are your dr4 pulls Any, anything notable actually I, surprisingly being out of redoer tickets i was very very happy with my pulls okay. i ended up getting two pot of avarice which is sick <laughs> and then i also okay. got myself okay. a, a karma cut too I think it might be nice. the second or third karma cut. Outside of that, I didn't get much else of anything. Did you get anything crazy? Was there anything? Wait, you thought you, thought you thought two pot of avarice was good. There's no I way hold you're three pot of avarice, and I've already had a pot <laughs> yeah, of avarice. I know so you I already have, have four one. pot of avarice. I know you already have one. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> um, so that sucks. You did get the avarice. That was like one thing I had on you for a while, but it's fine. Nothing I can do. Uh, I didn't get anything else noteworthy. I don't think. Uh, and if there is, it's not relevant. I got like the super macro cosmos Ooh, that's mm -hmm. exciting but it would have been no really assailant cool. no exarian or anything oh uh, like yeah that. those are the top end ones it would have been really cool if we had a shot to get a light and darkness dragon in here could I, you I, imagine yeah, it comes it out sucks. in it's it's reprinted later in one of the retro reprint pack. sets yeah retro yeah pack. retro pack so we will get a shot at it there which is nice at the end of every episode buddy we have to talk about the wheel lay it on me we what do. am i dealing with we do alex we're taking a bit uh, we're taking a trip back to somewhere we haven't been in a minute actually we've been pretty okay. equal on fights but um i get to take a trip back to the banning and i get to remove a card from your collection oh, for next episode. Oh, God. Uh, okay. It's about time, man. I, there's a couple things I've been eyeing up, dude. You've been having too much fun with that Cyberstein. Like, I was going to say, Cyberstein is not surviving. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like me, where I pay half my life points to lose every game that I would like last <laughs> season. You pay 5,000 and you've won every single one. So I think I gotta, I think there might have to be some balancing in that. Either that or pulling the rug's a pretty good contender, man. I will say. I I've mean, lost some games to that one. It has been your demise. It's a tough call for you, right? Stein is a consideration. I have Graceful. I have mm -hmm. Feather Duster. I do oh, not think yeah. this is an easy pick for you. And I'm curious what the comments have to say for what you uh, what you should pick because I think it's actually pretty tough. I know it's a toss up. We'll, we'll see what I decide next episode though. So guys, that's gonna wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout out to Shadow Thirteen Seventeen, Mono Tim Zero Zero X Three, Cameron Smith, MBT Play Medulce, Chaotic Meatball Part Two, Pony Starks, The Synchro Guy, Dan the Man Hoban, I Ship MBT and Simo, Draconic Phoenix. Phoenix, the Immortal, Jordan Coons, Iron Bladesman, Jesse Wood, Chris Hood, David Liu, Dylan Hunter, Cody Bretz, John Two Based, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Zerius Business, MBT Caught Injecting His Fairy Lily, Carlos DT, Flannel Daddy, Valen Jackson, Hornet, Aren't You Glad I Didn't Say Alpha Tribute, Ben 10, TC Gaming, Thanks for the Sleeves, Dad, Matthew Brady, Max, Twinkle Muncher, Eater of Crayons, Luabon, Yodabon, Helios 515, Simo's Chaos Cooking Draft, MBT Funding the Iris with his Rothschild Wealth, that's his Roth IRA, Simping for Simo, Stolfan Amethyst, Nicholas Carpenter, Simo's Harem of Sexy Yugi Tube, LGM BTQ, Nim Noodle, Mal Branch of the Burning Tunnel, Stella and Zoe Vermillion, Wonder Waffle, James Keen, Skull Servant, and the Wandering Doomed are boyfriends. MBT, cancel by all community soon, cancel by all committee soon, cancel by all players soon. Not reading cards makes the game interesting, and you know it. The MBT and MBT Yu Gi Oh! stands for Morbin Time, The Undertaker versus Simo and MBT, Dalton, Hunter Reed, Shrugs, IX, The Crystal Beast Enthusiast, ITF, Corvain, Dark Echo, TG Starman, Seamus Engage, Viso the V, Wacky Waving, Arm Failing, Fable two men selling crudely painted not so funny plywood cut out folk art and hatformat.com. Thank you so much for watching the video, and we will see you next time.